how to build a quiz funnel on system.io. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to create a funnel or a quiz funnel that you're going to have uh, to attract customers with some questions and also some maybe riddles or you're going to add uh, some questions and you need to uh, let the audience uh, interact with this specific form or this is uh, this specific survey into the system.io so we are going to do that as quickly as possible and also with the easiest way possible we're going to head over system.io sign in for an account and then from here we're going to see this menu at the header we are going to choose from the websites click on sales funnels and now we are going to see as you can see the funnels that we have created if you didn't create a funnel yet it is going to be okay you are going to create it from here on clicking on the blue button now aside from the creation of the funnel we're going to discuss a little bit about the quiz funnel why are you going basically to create it it is going to be crucial to create a funnel that has a quiz so you are going to um get the attention of the audience and you're going basically to have maybe the specific uh, opt-in for subscriptions you're going to create it maybe for a product um let's say here um, um launch or a product linking and etc and then you are going to have it just like this now aside from that we're going to have the funnel so we are going to name it for example here a uh, quiz and the final domain is going to be uh, the standard one that uh, the system.io has given you so choose the final goal here we are going to use whatever goal that we want so for example you're going to sell a product or you're going to launch a product click on here on the sell if you're going to need to build an audience and that means that you are going to at the end of the um, form or the funnel in here collect email addresses to launch some campaigns you're going to have this and if you're going to create one from scratch you can go ahead and have this one also for the custom for an evergreen webinar it is not going to be that interesting for your business now aside from that you're going to have the currency uh, choose the um, currency that will suit you now let's say that we are going to have an maybe an ebook not maybe not an ebook but we're going to launch a campaign so we are going to have here uh, the campaign launched after we have collected the email addresses so we are going to have uh, the build an, uh, an audience click on save you can also use the cell if you're going to be interested in here I am going to see here the uh, digital, not the digital, but the uh, specific here um, um, funnel. So I am going to delete one of the funnels. So let's see here quiz. Please, I want to build a quiz. So this is it. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to click on it. And you can see that we have the squeeze page, the thank you page, and the inactive page. We're going to use the squeeze page first. So we are going to uh, set up the uh, configuration. So we are going to select the uh, type of the page that we are going to use. And we are going to have it just like this. So I'm going to select one of the simplest pages, or let's see here, uh, some of the uh, specific. Um, place in here I can go ahead and select maybe a word empowering I don't know exactly so we are going to select one which is going to be simple I'm going to select this one so the squeeze base uh, has been selected what can I do first is I'm going to click on edit page now since I have clicked on edit page we are going to see everything now as you can see here we have the specific um, text and etc now let's see here where is our opt-in so this is our opt-in form opt or input this is the opt-in i'm going to see here where is the opt-in from there so come down menu we're going to see the subscription so doesn't matter a lot here i don't not see it yet the chat box or the form opt-in this is it input so i'm going to delete this or I can go ahead and have uh, this specific a green 
as you can see here a section i'm going maybe to duplicate it and put it at the let's say here um maybe at the specific um, header so let's say that we we do not need this section so this section is trash i'm going to delete it so let's uh, create another section just like that and we're going to put it at a little bit at the top so we are going to have it just like this so we're going to put it in here i think this is it the place that we want to add the specific section to maybe you're going to ask why it is simple because we need it to set up uh, at least the input here near the um the first thing that they have uh, on the specific uh, in here page so it is not going to be that far away to subscribe i think that in here it is going to be uh, here optimal now what can we do i'm going to have here a title and that title is going to be changed so you want to have a for example a better body shape so i'm going to have it just like this let's see here i'm going to have it as maybe one like that let's make it a little bit bold boom and we're going to put it just like this so by joining our uh, so i'm not going to have this like that but instead i'm going to delete this one so let's delete it i'm going to make this here by joining uh, the specific as you can see shape now what can i do in here is to scroll down a little bit and add an element which is going to be from the social which is going to be survey so i'm going to have here the survey so this is the survey we're going to double tap on it or click on it and then we can go ahead and set up the final step for example now here we have the question i want to add my question in here in the survey yes edit survey question yes this is it so i'm going to have my survey like that the question is going to be here so uh how do you have have for example a specific or a program program to lose weight or an efficient program I an efficient program to lose weight we're going to have this uh, the question like that the subtitle I'm going to have here maybe a subtitle if not or I'm going to delete the subtitle we're going to have the first answer and uh, open in person so it doesn't matter a lot so we are going to have here the uh, answer one yes I am I have an efficient for example program to lose wait and that is not the right as you can see word wait so this is uh, first uh, question i do not have a program program like that to lose wait for example or i can add third question i need a program so to lose wait this is going to be just simple so what are we going to do basically uh here um we are going to have the answers that we need like that uh here we are going to add the answers and i'm not going to add the answers but we're going to be back in here 
so we are going maybe you can add another question for example hi as you can see in here we have the question so this is the question in each case you're going to have here something so the logic in here is going to have a survey and this survey should not get a correct answer so i'm going to add here a text so we can go ahead and have a text added and that text is going to be uh, just like that so maybe i'm going to add here the uh, section please let me edit that so let's see here what do we have uh i think that oh, i i see i see this is a problem so we are going to have it as it is now what are we going to do if I'm going to set this. If you are interested in optimizing thing more your program, for example, or want to have an efficient program for example subscribe subscribe to our uh let's say here lose lose weight news letter for example we're going to name it just like that so we are going to have this boom now i can go ahead and let it like this by for example my entering your email address below uh, and address like that and click on submit below so we are going to let this uh, like that. Now, what I am going to do is to delete this specific text. I do not need in here. This is also something unnecessary. This is a row. Why is the row in here? So we do have two sections in here, I think. So what can I do in here is basically maybe I'm going to add a divider. So let's see. Horizontal line. I'm going to add it in here. So I think that we've got it. Uh, now this is the horizontal line. So we are going to incite people instead of having something in here. We can go ahead and have them uh, in this shape. So this is, I think, a section. I'm not going to have here a, a section that has been added. So why is my section is not going to be extended so this is a little bit confusing let's see here if i delete that what is going to be happening so oh i think that i have understood so this is basically a a, a row that contains two text so i'm going to make it at least like that so i'm going to delete the row not the row Let's let it just like this. Now I can go ahead and have everything set up with this quiz. As you can see, this is the quiz. You can add another quiz in here and then you're going to incite people maybe to uh, add or have a product to buy or something like that. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, do not forget to save the changes and then uh, publish your specific quiz page in here. So you're going to click on exit then you are going to get the link or the URL path. You can go ahead and uh, set up the uh, thank you page and then you can go ahead and have it just like that or you can let it go just like this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.